Welcome to Don's Keytag. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can interface your ESP32 microcontroller with the R307 fingerprint sensor. So I have here my ESP32 microcontroller and connected to it is my R307 fingerprint sensor. So what is the R307 fingerprint sensor? It is an optical fingerprint sensor that was developed by the Chinese company Hanzo Grow Technology. This small module contains the internal DSP processor and then some image processing and comparison module. So by just using this particular component, then you have all of these things all in one and you don't need to add any more external component attached to it. You can communicate with this sensor using the serial or UART for your microcontroller communication. Or if you want, there is a USB output if you want to communicate to it using your laptop or your workstation. The way the fingerprint sensor works is that there is a two-step process wherein we need first to enroll the fingerprints in the internal flash memory of our R307 sensor before we can create or verify the fingerprint if it's correct or not. So how does the R307 communicates with the ESP32 microcontroller? Usually the communication is through UART or serial communication. So the B in pin between the two components is just connected and the ground while the TX and RX pin which is related to the UART or the serial communication is being connected to the TXRX and the TXRX communication also. So the baud rate for this particular sensor can be changed depending on the parameters that you set. For the, for the default value, the baud rate is at 57,600. So for the wiring and the schematic, so here is my R307 sensor when I have connected the wires. So the color of the wire may change depending on the where you have bought the sensor. But the align the sequence of the pins usually is the same wherein there's the, the five volts, ground, PX, RX, the touch, and the 3.3 volts. The sensor is able to use 5 volts or the 3.3 volts. But for our case in here, we just connect it with the 5 volts of our ESP32. So the wiring and the schematic is something like this. So the B in pin is connected to the 5 volts, while the ground is connected to the ground. The RX pin is connected to the PX pin of the R307, which in this case is the yellow. And the green, which is the RX pin, is connected to the PX pin of the ESP32 UART pin. So I have here the program that we will use to communicate with our R307 sensor. So for now, uh, I have created three functionality which I have just copied from the library. By the way, I'm using the Adaproot fingerprint sensor library in communicating with this particular component. And you can use also the Arduino IDE in the running this code. But for my test case, I'm just using the platform IO ID extension of Visual Studio Code. So let's start with the enrollment.cpp. So the enroll.cpp means that we're going to enroll our fingerprint into the flash file system of our R307. And the way to do that is in the main.cpp, we just copy whatever is in the enroll.cpp and paste it in the main.cpp and using platform IO, we just upload in monitor. Uh, for now, I have already uploaded it. So as you can see from the terminal, we can just type in the ID. So for example, I'm going to type in one. So as you can see, it means that the R307 sensor is now waiting for your fingerprint to be placed in the sensor itself. So I'm going to enroll one of my finger. So 
as you can see that the message in here says that the image is already taken so let's scan the same finger again for validation purposes so right now i was able to enroll one of my finger so let's try adding a new finger so the ID is now 2. I'm going to put my index finger at this time. So it says that the image is taken. I add this again. So right now we are the, the image is already taken also. So for the last finger, I'm going to enroll my middle finger. So, so the image is already taken also. Let's try it for verification. So the image is now taken. So right now, the three fingers that I have is already enrolled in the file system of the R307 database. So right now, we can check for the fingerprint by running this check fingerprint. So what I'm going to do is just copy the code in here and then place it in my main.cpp. I just need to comment everything. Then by using platform IO, I'm going to upload and monitor. Okay, so as you can see right now, the LED inside the R307 is already blinking, which means that it is waiting for the finger to be placed so right now i'm going to try one of my finger that i have enrolled let's see the output so there is a message here that the fingerprint was a match now let's try the another finger which is the index finger so it says that the that it was able to match my index finger so let's try one finger that i did not enroll so let's put it there as you can see there is a message that there did not find a match so that's basically how you can verify if your fingerprint is inside the r307 database so right now let's check the template that's what, that was stored inside the R307. So to do that, let's go to the download template at CPP. Let's copy it and then paste it in the main.cpp. Then I'm going to uncomment everything. Once everything is uncommented, I'm just going to upload and monitor. So what this program will do is it will download all of the fingerprint that is inside the R307 database. So, as you can see, this is the sample template that was stored inside our R307 database. So, it's really easy to use this sensor so that if you have any security requirements, then using this biometric sensor is an excellent solution. So, that is all for the demo on how you can interface your ESP32 with your R307 fingerprint sensor. The write-up, the code is available in my GitHub repository and the link can be found at the description of this video. I hope you learned something. Happy exploring!